The terrorist organization Hamas presents a brutal and difficult documentation of Yarden Bibas about him and all the Bibas family. We will continue to work in all ways to get all our captives back. This is an act of psychological terrorism by Hamas against the families of hostages, citizens of Israel and the entire world. The purpose is to exerting pressure. Hamas claims about Bibas family have not yet been verified. I repeat, they are still not verified. And this again emphasizes what the mediators in the world must demand from Hamas. The repatriation of people and children and the examination of the medical condition of the hostages by the Red Cross or another international organization. This is the outline of what was agreed upon in the agreement and this is how we prepare for tomorrow as well. First of all, I did meet the members of the Bibas family. It was a painful meeting, even more painful in its developments. The media reports arrived, they're not confirmed. They're painful and I don't know if it's true or not true. It's part of the brutal psychological warfare that our enemies are doing. We are now in complex moments, in a window of time, in the framework of the return of the hostages. We will work in order to fulfill it as much as possible. Nevertheless, we are ready to return to fighting at any given time, even in these very moments. Inside my, my, my brother's house, um, seeing this video was the most in my brother, uh, 6.30, he wrote to me, they were going inside the safe room in their house, uh, he wrote... <laughs> It's like the Schindler list. We are waiting to see who's gonna be, who's gonna survive, who's not. And unfortunately, we're speaking about uh, my cousin Shiri and the two little kids. That Ariel is only four years old. And Kfir is now about ten and a half months old. He's uh, uh, fifteen, almost almost fifteen percent of his life is in prison. He's not prison. He's, he's in captivity somewhere on the ground. <laughs> We know that they are not on the list of today. And we have this last couple of hours to try to, to address Biden or President Sisi from Egypt or somebody from Qatar to understand that we are speaking about 10 months old little baby, and four years old little boy, he's still a baby himself and that they need to do whatever they can to push and make sure that they will be on this list. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't see, I don't know where is, where, when, when the, the second chance will be. So we have only one address and this address is Hamas and they should do whatever they can and they need to bring them back. We didn't want them to become a symbol. We didn't want um, that Hamas will use that. That because they are a symbol, they will they will use that to to, to be to do a, a harder negotiation. The kids, you don't need to negotiate negotiate about it. They, I, I, I don't know 
what Hamas was thinking when they kidnapped uh, Kfir and Ariel. What, 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 what they're afraid of? That Ariel, Kfir will attack them? What, what, did, what, what, did, what did, did they saw when they kidnapped him? He's not a soldier, he's not a grown-up person that could have done anything to hurt him when they invaded Israel. So I, I have no reason why they did what they did. The Red Cross has promised to Israel that he will go inside Gaza today or tomorrow. Unfortunately, uh, instead of being a humanitarian organization that needs to uh, take care of all the hostages, is run, running away from responsibility. I don't believe anything that they're saying. They say that they have no uh, contact with Hamas from one end, and in the other end, they're going inside Gaza to treat the injured people of Hamas. They say that uh, they have no contact with them. On the other end, they, they go in the evening to release our prisoners. There is citizens, not prisoners, citizens, kids, uh, children, babies that didn't do anything, that didn't hurt anybody in their life, that been all this in captivity with no terms at all, with no food, we don't, we don't, without seeing daylights, without getting medical treatment. And for some reason, the, the, uh, the Red Cross doesn't say anything. The woman organization doesn't say anything. All the Me Too, the sp screaming Me Too and everything. Why do, don't you go sc screaming in Gaza when they rape, raped and killed their, uh, their daughters? They only blame in judging Israel all the time. <laughs> מוחזקים בשבי חמאס בעזה כבר למעלה מ-53 ימים. but not exactly everyone. We're missing Yarden, Shiri, Ariel, and Kfir. The four of them have been kept in Hamas captivity for already in, uh, in Gaza for over 53 days. 53 days in which we, are, we don't know where they are being held, what is their condition, are they being fed enough, who is taking care of them, are they together, who is holding them? Who is, do they have showers? Who, who makes them... Uh, who hugs them when they're crying? We know exactly where they are. Hamas took them and Hamas is required to bring them back right now. The responsible for their health and their freedom is directly in Hamas's hand and his responsibility. Uh, this is your enemy. Fear, a, nine, a 10 months old baby. Ariel, four months, a four years old boy. Uh, this is your enemy. Our kidnapping children are in line with the Islam values. Our message is to bring everybody home, to bring all the people that were kidnapped home. And when you look at Kfir, which is a 10-month-old baby, you need to ask yourself, is this an enemy of the Hamas? Is this someone that needs to be held captive? He's so young, he's so small, and we want him and all the others like his brother, Ariel, four years old, and his mother and his father, Shiri and Yerden, 
want them all back with us. Uh, Ariel, four years old, and Kfiri, his brother, ten month, months old, held in captivity by a brutal organization for 53 days. I'm, of course I'm worried. I'm, I'm terrified because he, what does he eat, you know? Where does he sleep? Does he hear the bombing? Does he, he hears shouting around him? He, he's afraid. And we don't know uh, what's going on with them and are they healthy? One thing that I think was unique and it's something that is a, a characteristic of what, what's going on right now in, in the country. I went there on the stage and held the pictures of my families. But together with me, not just my extended family stood there with me. It was a lot of people from all different parts of the country that came here together to stand with us. I don't know them, but they know us. They know the hostages because right now we are all one big family that wants their children back. And this is what this day is about. <laughs> brother uh, was kidnapped with his entire family from their home in New Orleans on the 7th. Um, his wife Shiri and two boys. Um, today, uh, not today, the, the reason we are talking to you today is because tomorrow is the last day of the current ceasefire uh, and the current deal that Israeli have uh, for releasing hostages. hostages. Um, and they are still still not be they, they still haven't been released every day there is a danger to their life um, they must be released as soon as possible maybe it's part of a psychological war against us i have no idea um, it's working really good because the last four days has been completely nightmare for us this has been 52 days for a baby and a boy in captivity there is no precedent in modern history for something like this. We, we need you to understand that these are not just pictures, okay? This is a real baby there. And remember that we've lost so much already, okay? Their grandparents have been killed, massacred. Their home has been tarnished. So they have so much to, to, to go through already. The, the, the future is not bright here. All we know uh, from what uh, Hamas published um, that um, Yarden was Yarden the father was uh, separated, was separated from, from the rest. From the rest. Um, in his last chat uh, with uh, Ofri in uh, WhatsApp, he told her that uh, he is going to defend to, to defend them. He, he, he was he was holding a, a handgun for self defense, and uh, the photo that was released was Yarden by himself uh, with a cheering mob um, taken violently into Gaza. And the other video that was published was Shiri with her kids. So unfortunately, we do not believe that uh, they are kept together.